the renewing of our minds. You know the battle is never is never a physical battle. The battle is always in the mind. This is where the battlefield is. Right? This is where the battlefield is. So God is beginning to prepare you because he knows there's an upcoming battle that's coming your way. And he's saying, I'm getting you ready. I'm getting you ready. Because life will happen. Storms will come. And I've called you to something bigger. How do you begin to fill your head? How does anointing come? See, you're made up with three, right? I explained this before. Your spirit, soul, and body, you're not just a physical body floating around here on earth. And you got a physical. And you also have a spirit. You're made in the image of God. But in between the spirit is the soul, and then here is the body. Spirit, soul, body. Okay? We're a physical body, but there's a soul. The soul is basically three in one. Your mind, your will, and your emotions. That's where the battle happens. The body will tell you, I want to eat that chocolate cake. Okay? But your spirit will tell you, you've had so much already, your sugar level is high. But your body is going to tell you, no, I want that cake. You know, I don't want it. And then your mind is here, your spirit is fighting, your body is fighting. And God's preparing you through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit should be stronger than your physical, your physical body. And God wants to anoint our heads. Question, what are you full of in your head? Are you full of the Spirit of God? Or are you full of the world? What are you filled? What's, what's filling you? When you think in the morning, what do you think about? What occupies what you think every day? Anointing is so important. You anoint my head with oil. And the next verse goes, okay, the next verse is, my cup overflows. My cup overflows. And that's the title. That's a long introduction. The title of my message is My Cup Overflows. <laughs> so we're just starting. We haven't even begun the message, but we're just starting. I'll be, I'll be done in 10 minutes and 2 hours. I'm done. My cup overflows. I love that. Every time I think of that, oh my gosh. My cup overflows. Do you know that we as human beings, we try to fill our cup every day? Right? This is a cup. And we try to fill ourselves. There's an emptiness there where we try to fill it with something else. And our cup overflows. When I got married to my wife 33 years ago, you know, I already was, you know, I kind of know God already. I read the word. And basically I was a Christian already. And I thought I was cute already. I thought I was mature. I thought I was ready for the world. I thought that, wow, man, that was a You know, you met the amazing guy. You're going to get married. And I'm blessed to with her. And then I have a confession to make. In our 33 years of marriage, the first couple of years in our married life, to be honest with you, was not good. Outside, you know, we kind of show our place, but you know, my brother in law is here. Uh, and I was telling I'm telling them, it wasn't good. We were fighting all the time. We were fighting. We were arguing. I don't know what we do, but we were. Every day we were fighting the first couple of years. And the reason was because 